Hey guys, Jalika here from A Pretty Fix, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these really cute DIY boho macrame coasters. They are so simple to make. All you have to do is master one macrame knot and you are off to the races. I actually shared how to make this knot on a blog post of mine um, where I use it to make a wall hanging. Um, if you're interested in that post, then I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can go directly there. And what I love about this knot is that there are so many different uh, applications to it. It's a very basic macrame knot. It's foundational to a lot of different pieces. So I thought I'd try my hand at it to create these coasters and I'm really happy with the results. They create this really beautiful sort of diamond pattern. Now I'll be showing the entire post from beginning to end. So for those of you who have never done macrame before, then I've got you covered. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. You'll need the following supplies for your boho macrame coasters. Macrame cord. I used a single twist five millimeter, but any cord will do. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a tape measure and also a wire comb like this pet comb, which is great for combing out all that fringe. Now you're gonna go ahead and cut 10 macrame cords at four foot lengths folded in half for this project. You'll also want to get a coat rack or a metal bar to hang your project from, as well as a couple of S hooks and a half inch dowel. Now I went ahead and secured my dowel with uh, some cotton yarn uh, double knotted on each end, but this is entirely up to you. I just found this a little bit uh, more secure as I was working on the project. Now to start, you're gonna to wanna to take your first macrame cord um, measuring four feet in length, fold it in half and grabbing the midpoint, you're gonna be attaching that cord to the dowel. Now this is called a lark's head knot. It's a basic knot used in macrame and is uh, often used to attach cords to dowels and other rods. For the rest of this DIY, we'll be using the square knot, which is a foundational knot for macrame. Let's do a practice run before we get into the project. You're going to start with four macrame cords. Grab the leftmost cord and place it over top of the other three cords, creating a number four. Then grabbing the final cord, place it over top of that cord and then feed it through the back until you can get it through that loop that you just created. Grab the two ends and then pull up to create your first knot. This is actually the top half of your square knot. Now to complete it, you're gonna reverse the process. So grabbing the rightmost cord, place it over top of the other three cords, this time creating a reverse number four. Now grab the leftmost cord, place it over top of that cord, and then feed that through the back end, making sure that you feed it through that loop that you created with that backwards four, and then just pull those up holding the two middle cords and the two end cords to create the bottom half of your first square knot. Now let's put that into practice by applying the square knot to your boho macrame coasters. Grabbing the first four macrame cords, just start creating the upper half of that square knot, starting off with the number four and looping around just as you did with the practice square knot. Now just reverse the process for the bottom knot and you've got your first square knot all ready. Now continue on by using four macrame cords at a time to create an entire row of square knots for this project. For your second row, you're actually going to be leaving off the two end pieces, 
but you're going to continue on as before. So grabbing the next four macrame cords, just start creating a square knot. By leaving off the last two cords for the second row, you're accomplishing two things. One, you're actually going to be creating a cute little uh, triangular pattern throughout your boho macrame coasters but also you're attaching the two knots created in the row above to uh, the knot created in the uh, second row. For your third row, you're actually going to be using those two cords that you left off. Um, so you're going to be creating square knots from end to end just like you did for the first row. The only difference is you just want to make sure that you start your uh, square knot for the third row just below that second row that you created so that it's not um, lopsided. Um, you want to make sure that it's, it's a pretty horizontal uh, row of square knots. Now continue making your subsequent rows, alternating by making square knots end to end and square knots where you leave off the last two cords on either end. Now for your final row of square knots, you're going to want to make sure that you're creating square knots that go from end to end. So uh, make sure that you're not leaving off those last two cords as you did in the alternating rows. In order to achieve that, you're going to want to make sure that you have an uneven number of rows. So in this case, I created 11 rows of square knots for this coaster project. The first row and the last row uh, uses up every one of the cords and creates a nice squarish and closed off uh, appearance to the coaster. Now here's the final piece with six rows of square knots going end to end and five rows that alternated leaving off those two last cords. Now you're ready to snip off that boho macrame coaster. Leave off about an inch of fringe along the end and then remove the coaster from the dowel itself. It slips off pretty easily. And then you're just gonna wanna unknot, I guess, those lark's head knots along the ends. It's really quite easy to just kind of unfurl them. And then you're gonna wanna snip off the loops and then just cut the fringes to the length that, um, that you desire. Comb out that fringe using a comb. A wire comb is great, but any comb will do. 
and then you'll probably just kind of finagle it a little bit and tighten the knots before it's ready to be used. Well, I really hope that you enjoy this DIY boho macrame coaster tutorial. I actually created two coasters for myself. I just couldn't help it. They're just so beautiful. I love how the square knot creates this pretty diamond pattern. And the coasters are practical too, adding a great boho chic vibe to my space. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you all in the next video.